Hello everybody, how are we all? I do hope you are all well and um, looking forward to Christmas, which is about a week away uh, until the 1st of December anyway. So this vlog is Christmas orientated. Um, I went to a few shops last week, um, essential shops, I might add, um, and picked up some Christmas bits uh, some craft bits and some Christmas books and other little bits um, just because I don't know about anybody else but we're finding weekday evenings quite boring. Um, Malone and Jude, not so much Jude, but Malone used to have clubs after school and none of those clubs are on anymore um, and Jude used to come along and or while she was at a club I'd take him out for a walk or we'd do something but obviously none of them are on, or any, are on at the moment um, and so I want to get them away from their tablets as much as possible or away from looking at the TV because it's just boring mundane dullness so I went and bought some craft bits and we got some new Christmas books and stuff like that so I thought it would be good to show you just in case you're after any ideas uh, for things to do or books for Christmas, because Christmas books are amazing, um, and little bits like that. So should we get on and I'll show you what I got? Yeah? Great. Okay, here we go then. So the first thing is I went to the range. I went to the range last... Don't even know. I think last Friday. It was Friday because I walked into town. I walked into town all the way to the range and had a look round. I thought Hobbycroft was going to be open, but Hobbycroft wasn't. Um, so it was only the range and it was busy. Um, but I went to pick up some craft bits for Malone and Jude to do. So these are what I got. So first of all, I picked up lots of um, brightly coloured card. So we went for Mermaid and Unicorn card pack. So it's Got lovely shimmery colours in there. A pack of gold and a pack of silver. Uh, the gold and the silver are a pound each and the unicorn pack which has got eight colours, one of each, I think they were 2 99 so slightly more expensive but I'm sure we'll find something to do with those. Um, so that's those. And then I like a silver and a gold pen. These aren't for writing in my Christmas cards, but I think they're good to put on um, like black card and things like that. I think they look really, um, really cool because they brighten it up rather than just a dull mark, you know, like a Sharpie or something like that. So they were one ninety nine each. I remember as a kid, these used to be really expensive. So one to 99, I thought were a bargain. So I picked up two of those. I don't actually know what I'm gonna use these for, particularly, but I'm sure we'll find something. So I liked this. This was a felt, leaves and berries. So we can make like a little felt wreath with it. So I thought that was quite cute. So we just get a bit of card in a circle shape and then put them on there. I think that'd be really sweet and they can put that in their room or something. Um, I don't actually know why I got these. They're like miniature trees. I think maybe I was thinking something along the lines of like a, maybe like a miniature Christmas scene. Maybe they could do like a Christmas scene with um, cotton wool and things like that and then put them in there. I don't really know. And then you could maybe use like little Lego characters. It's like the people, I don't know. But anyway, I got them and I can't remember how much they were. Maybe 1.99, maybe 99p, I don't really know. But this is all the range. And these ones, Pomacetia. I love Pomacetia at Christmas. So I thought they'd be quite cute to put on a card or something for a relative. And then some little felt sticker, holly leaves and berries they're just cute I think they were 99p but I thought they were really really cute I've got them one of these each which they have fought over I always think I won't get them the same because that's a bit boring and then when they fight over them I think I should have got the same 
anyone else has that with their children. Anyway, Father Christmas pen and Gingerbread Man. I thought that was quite cute. Can't remember how much they were, maybe about 99p each or 129 maybe. And I thought they could, um, yeah, just use them maybe while they're writing out their Christmas cards or when they do their letter to Father Christmas. And then I've got some glitter tape. I use this to wrap up um, my mother-in-law's birthday present the other day. It's actually really cool stuff. I really like it. So I haven't actually got my wrapping paper and stuff yet, but I'm thinking I might just get the brown craft paper and use these and tags and ribbons because they looked really cool. Because if you're going to use that with patterned Christmas paper, it's just never going to show up. So I thought they were cool. I think they were 1.99 each. I think. And then I went to the pound shop because I was walking back through town and it was open and I thought I'll go in there and just have a little, have a little look. Sometimes they do really good craft stuff. So I got went in there and I did get some craft bits. They've done these already, but they were really good and they love doing them. These were 99p, obviously, pound shop, although there was stuff in there that was more than a pound. But they were two in a pack and they're those pictures and you stick the foam bits on them and they're really cool. Jude's only just turned five, so they're really good for him. You can see that's his, he's trying, bless him, to put the bits on but I thought they were really really good they've, they've put them in their own near their beds so I thought they were quite cute and then I picked up these paper trees well, they're more like card trees and I thought we could either um, use glitter or pens or whatever and stick some bits on them and then they can put them in their room or something like that passes the time doesn't it so I thought they were good, ten, there's 10 in there, so they're quite good, I think. And then these, these are always good value, I think, these stickers. These are two packs for a pound. And they're really cute. They've got Christmas dogs on and Christmas cats. Jude loves a pug, Malone loves a cat. So it was a winner, wasn't it? And then the other pack, I got snowmen and snowflakes. Again, they can just do some crafts with them or put them in their cards or whatever. I just thought they were quite sweet. And then the obviously traditional Father Christmas um, writing kits, that's Father Christmas kits. These ones are from the pound shop um, and it contains a door hanger, a letter to Santa with envelope, pencil with eraser, sticker sheet, thank you notes with envelopes. And I think they're really cute. Little pencil, little kit. I think they're really nice. And I just think they're, they're so good. For a pound, I think they're a bargain. Really good. These, I've had these quite a while, um, but I thought they were quite good to show because Malone and Jude will like wearing these to school and things. They were 99p in the card factory. This, these I got before lockdown, so like September probably, something like that. Um, but they were 99p. And they'll wear them to school. Little badges. I think they're really cute. So we've got a snowman and a reindeer. I think Malone picked these. So she obviously knows whose is whose because I don't. But I thought they were really, really good for a pound. And they were like wearing them. I think they're really cute. So, the card factory. Okay, these ones are Aldi. Um, I think it's only right that if you own a dog that you get it a Christmas jumper. Um, I think if you don't, then you're quite a bad person. I do. I think you should dress your dog up in a Christmas outfit. I think it'd be morally wrong if you didn't. <sighs> Not really. Some people would say it's cruel. So I got this for Zip, um, and I think it's really cute, really cute little jumper. And it was £3.99, I think that's a bargain, because you could easily pay, 
over a tenner or something from um, an unnamed pet store. So for four pound, I think it was brilliant. I did actually pick him up a medium and a large and I thought, oh, he's in between. He's not a medium, but he's too small for a large. I take it back. He fits in the large and it's quite snug. <laughs> So they either come up really small or I'm underestimating the size of my beast of a dog. But for four pound, I just think they're great. That's so cute. And he doesn't mind wearing it, it's it's okay. And then whilst I was in there, Malone and Jude have got some decorations <clears throat> that I actually got them from the pound shop. I got them some paper chains, which were really cute. A banner and like a pom-pom garland. Um, just to kind of jazz up their room a little bit for Christmas. Um, and I picked up this today in Aldi for £1.99 and I thought this could go in their room as well. La 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 la. So I'm going to put that up for them whilst they're at school. Um, Aldi are doing some really, really good bits, I must, I must say. Um, and they're actually they're getting better and better quality so you know why not i love it as star a couple of weeks back um i went and i why did i go to asda to get something and i ended up upstairs buying stuff that i didn't need to uh, which is always the way and dean hates it um but i bought this Rubik's Cube, just for them to play with now really, 99p. Should have got two, because they probably will argue. Just what happens in my house. Pick them up, one of these each. Little drink bottle, just for indoors. They were £1.50 each, yeah, £1.50 each. And I've just, they've seen them and they like them. I haven't used them yet. Don't use them until the 1st of December, I think, personally. Um, so £1.50 each. In the same aisle were these. They're only a pound. So I've got them one each. We don't actually use Melamine plastic plates anymore. We, um, we got rid of them all because I couldn't stand them. They, in the dishwasher or whatever, they just, they lose their colour, they crack or they just naff. Um, and they're seven and five now, so we don't use them. But I saw these, they were a pound, and I thought, why not? You know? So they'll use them over Christmas. Cute. Forgot to mention, whilst also in the range, I brought this for Malone and Jude's room. So this sits on Malone's mirror. Hoping you'll be able to see. It lights up, you're not going to be able to see. But I thought it was quite cute. It reflects on her mirror. It just lights up, so when they're asleep, I think it's quite cute. And then I also bought this little mate for their bedroom. He sits on the windowsill, it's got a little light in. Again, really cute. I think that was one ninety nine. And this one, oh no, maybe this was two ninety nine, and maybe this was one ninety nine. Um, but I just thought, jazz up their room a little bit. Why not? On Saturday, um, we went to Ruxley Manor, which is a garden centre up in Sidcup, because um, we needed some new Christmas decorations. Um, bit of a backstory. We had sold our house back in August and we were uh, due to move first week of December. Has all fallen through. <laughs> uh, if I've got to laugh about it, because if I, if I don't laugh, I will cry. But basically we're not moving now so our house is still sold but we can't find anything else that we like nothing compares so um our buyers still want our house at the moment um but we're in here for christmas we thought we'd be in our new house for christmas but we're not so we thought this year um we because we were in our new house we were going to be in our new house we thought we'll get a new christmas we'll get a real christmas tree um and do decorations and everything for it. Unfortunately, because it's not happened, we are staying here for Christmas, which, look, in the current climate and situation, I really appreciate, and I'm really, really glad that we ever actually got a house. Um, but we're just gonna make it even more Christmassy this year because 
plans have not gone to plan. So we're going to get a real Christmas tree this year, which meant it was only right that we treated our, our real Christmas tree to some new decorations. So we went to Ruxley on Saturday to pick up some new decks um, and just have a little look around really. Um, or person caught my eye. I say little is not really little. Oh, where's this? Oh, there he is, look. They call these gonks. Uh, I don't actually know why they're called gonks, but he's really cute. He's got a little bit of um, metal in him, so you can sort of put his hat all over the place. But I think he's really cute. Look at him. And he's one of those reversible things, so you can change the sequins to red and gold and they have pink and it changed to silver I think but we went for the traditional Mr Gonk and I think he was 15 pound I think I think and then this is gonna sound really really weird but I love um, this is probably a whole nother vlog but I've got a thing about Victorian like life um, and Christmases. I find it all very, very fascinating. If time travel were possible, I would go back and celebrate a Victorian Christmas, but the posh Victorians. Um, I just find it all fascinating and I love it. And, and now looking on it, I love the way that they used to celebrate it. And I like now how we get the traditional um, old style vintagey Christmas cards and wrapping paper and things like that um, so we picked up this town scene um, moving thing some people will find it really really tacky um, but Malone and Jude absolutely love it if I had room and an endless pot of money I think I would do what the garden centres do where they create that whole village town effect and you have them all running and I just I would do it um but we didn't we haven't got the room <laughs> and I don't think Dean would let me spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds on um a tiny little village so we bought one I'm gonna plug it in for you now and show you it and I just I love it and Malone and Jude love it they sit there looking at it and watching it with the lights off so I'm gonna plug it in and I'm gonna show you it can you see look it's even got music Here comes the train. Oh. And the tree. I just love it. All of it lights up. It's very, it's very sparkly. It's very pretty, and it does really remind me of a um, Victorian, Dickensian Christmas. And I love it. We don't have the music playing in the evenings i might add that is just a novelty thing we just have the lights on like that so it has got that option um but i love it it was 30 pound and in my eyes it's 30 pound well spent so that was at ruxley okay and then one of my other things that i absolutely love at christmas is christmas books um we bought the christmas saurus by tom fletcher which is really, really good, but it is very long. And Malone and Jude are getting a little bit bored with it because I have to read it to them. So I think maybe we'll go back to that next year. Maybe it's just a little bit too long and not complicated, but it's just gonna to take too long to get through. So I picked up a few different books um, and ordered some from Amazon. So this one is called The Night After Christmas. It's really good. We always hear about them the night before Christmas, never the night after Christmas. It's really good. I write, really, really, really like it. Uh, it says it's from the author of Oi Frog, which we haven't got. But if it's like this, then I think I'll have to get it. I really like it. It's a really cute book. And the illustrations are beautiful. I'll just show you. Page. it's really nice and bright and it all rhymes so it's like a 
a giant poem and it's beautiful. I really like that one. And I've got these in WH Smith. They wasn't on offer. So this one was $6.99. I bought this one in Smiths. This was on offer. This is a Tom Fletcher book. This one is There's an Elf in Your Book. We've got There's a Witch in Your Book, which is equally as good. This is really good because Malone and jo Jude think it's quite cheeky. They think it's a cheeky book. Um, so we've been reading this. Again, really lovely illustrations. Very funny. That one was six ninety nine, but I think I paid £3.50 for it in WH Smith. Again, so I'd recommend that one. This one I picked up in WH Smith on a whim. Um, I liked the look of the pa of the front cover and I had no idea what it was gonna be about. I didn't read the blurb on the back. I just looked at the picture, looked at the name and I thought, that looks cute, I'm gonna get that. So we read this last night before we put them down to bed I really liked it. Dean said it was all right. It wasn't Christmassy like he thought it would be. This might be too much information, but it is my time of the month. When I read this, I could quite have easily cried. Um, it's not a Christmas book how, we, how you would imagine a Christmas book. I don't want to give it away, but it's really, it's just a lovely book. Shall I read the back? And then you, you might get the gist without me telling you. Every Christmas, Mia and her family read a letter which her grandpa wrote to her. He remembers fondly the times they spent in his garden finding frogs and planting seeds. But grandpa worries that all the things they love so much are in danger and he needs Mia to help protect them. A wonderful and timely story about looking after our planet and making a better world for future generations. See, that makes me feel quite emotional. <laughs> God, what is up with me? I liked it. I did find it sentimental. Um, I just thought it was a really nice book. That again was six ninety nine. It wasn't on offer. I, it was on an offer. It was on buy one get one half price. But there wasn't another one that I wanted, so I had to pay full price. Right, these two I ordered from Amazon. Um, this was recommended by a lady that I follow on Instagram, and I liked the look of it. I like how it's... I just love everything about the front of this book, so I thought if the front is anything to go by, then the inside is going to be just as good. So it's called Pick a Pine Tree, and it is literally about going out and picking a real Christmas tree. So because we're getting a real Christmas tree this year, we've we've had one long before um, we moved into this house. When it was just me, Dean and Pop, we used to get a Christmas, a real Christmas tree every year. So reading this last night, every page was like, well, that's what we'll be doing then when we go and get our tree. So. I liked it for that reason. It's a, again, a sentimental book and it, it's almost like a cr creates um, future memories. And so I liked that one. That was 6 99 but I don't think I paid that. I think I paid like £4.50 on Amazon. And I love Prime because it just comes the next day. So yes, I really like this book. Pick a pine tree. This, I haven't even looked at. Malone's looked through it. She said it's really good. She likes it. It's more, actually, I don't even know. I think it's more of a, like, um, maybe a crafts book. But it, I think it tells you to do things day by day. It does. So it says how to read this book. December the 1st, a very important mission write a letter to Father Christmas. So every day it tells you what to do and it's in this book. So I just think it's it's lovely. Again, it's really well illustrated. I think it's beautiful. It's called Winston, How Winston Delivered Christmas. It's quite thick. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll stick to it and we'll do something every day in it. 
So it just seems like make mince pies, make Christmas gifts, lavender bag. The room in the rafters. Oh, see that picture. Oh, this is a story, this one. <gasps> see this? I imagine a rich Victorian child having a little doll's house like, house like that. If I could come back reincarnated as something, I'd come back as a Victorian child, but a rich one, living in London, in that kind of Mr. Selfridge era. So this seems like make your own Christmas crackers. Dilly dallying, make your own Christmas tree decorations. Make your own party food. Cheese stars, and it gives you all the instructions and ingredients. Festive Rocky Road. So this is really nice. Make a Christmas jar. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this. I think it'll be really nice. Make a snow globe, that's cute. Okay, I will definitely have to do this. I should have really looked at this before I put it on here, but you've had my instant and real reaction. This book, I think, I did pay about 13 pound for. But I think it's one of those ones I'm going to get out every year and do with them. Stop saying, um, because it's really annoying. Um. <laughs> it's a good job I can laugh at my own self because nobody else does. Right, one last thing. Another thing I got when I was in Asda was some Christmas napkins. I'm going to put them in their lunch boxes at Christmas one every day and then I bought this because I found this very Victorian kind of escape like tablecloth and napkins for my Christmas table but we went to Primark just to look and it ended up coming out with five pairs of pajamas so the whole family have got these pajamas We've all got the same. So Malone and Jude, kids ones were eight pound. So long trousers, long top. And Dean and Poppy, again, they're all the same, just different sizes. They were 11, yep. And then me as well. So cute. And then they had a dog one. So we got the dog one as well. It's Velcro, which is good. Look at that. It's so cute. The dog one was four pound, I'm gonna say. Oh my god, it was seven. I'm quite surprised by that. And then we all got Chin slipper socks. They're so cute, aren't they? So they go. So adult ones were two pound, children's ones one pound fifty. That is my Christmas, very Christmas haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Fingers crossed that you did because the haul seemed to be very popular with people. So I hope that I fulfilled your haul expectations and dreams. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave lovely comments, please like, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.